Welcome to the greatest disaster on the internet. It's the Four Heads Podcast. I'm Golden Boy alongside with Brand Sideshow and Reinforce. I almost forgot your name there for a moment, Johnny. Uh, <laughs> How can you I'm, forget my name? I'm kidding. What? I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. you're not kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. 100%. 100% kidding. 100%. Uh, yeah, so some housekeeping before we move on. Of course, this is, uh, it's been a wild ride. Of four heads fun in action here we're and we have a great announcement to have mm. for you all we have hit over five thousand subs on youtube yeah that's pretty good, that's pretty uh, good. the reaction will, will be a lot more numbers like, don't matter bump. it's not really a great reaction no, it's really don't matter, what do you mean yeah. numbers don't matter of course they do when you're trying to get famous that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get famous so that I don't have to work a day in my life anymore. Cloud Social shit. media will make you unhappy. <laughs> the, the more famous you get, the more you're going to have to work, Alex. They're going to keep peddling you out, you know? They're it's never going to let you disappear I, into the darkness. I am, I am unbelievably famous. That's so, true. And because of that, I definitely Global have icon. its drawbacks. Yeah. It has drawbacks. What can I say? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't believe you're wearing just a casual t-shirt today. I thought you would have showed up in like a proper suit, tie. Mm. You know, give you a good looks. Mm. I mean, your beard looks pretty bad today. I think you would have trimmed it to 400 <laughs> or something. But... Whoa! Well, Johnny, you just at least I the... can grow a beard. All right? Oh, you haven't seen me grow a beard. Johnny can grow yeah. a beard. You should have yeah. seen this guy's incredible Rolling neck beard back in 2016. Because oh. I know the limitations of my uh, genetics. <laughs> I've started growing hair on my chest, and it's really weird. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dude, serious. Just no, I'm serious. Just it just randomly. No, 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 no. I'm saying I used to be a totally shaven, bare little boy. From the eyebrows down, I couldn't grow anything. Yep. And then the recently, twink. recently, over the last, I don't know, over the, I swear it's over the last few months. I've never noticed them before. I've now got a little bushel growing in between my nipples, and I don't know is where there, it came from. Is there anything you've changed in your diet? You know. Um, it, it's the vegan stuff. It's the vegan stuff. <laughs> He's become a vegan and just started growing chest hair. I've is been, that really I've been drinking is? whiskey more often. I, uh, no, that's, that's supposed not. to put hairs on your chest, whiskey, isn't it? Hairs on your chest. And lettuce. And lettuce, yeah. Lettuce. Whiskey no, and lettuce. That's the Are classic you combo. With me? <laughs> Dude, look it up. Look it up. No, nah, you're taking the piss. <laughs> lettuce. Lettuce or... grows hair. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> No, that doesn't work, Brent. It's full of shit, man. <laughs> I was actually, I was, I was, I was looking up uh, the other day. I come across a video that was explaining the history of hair growth drugs. Mm. I don't know how I found it, but it was on the BBC website. And oh. uh, the the science of it, it's crazy. People spend billions every year trying to regain their hair that they've lost. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, Alex, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you can relate. <laughs> but it, you, you, you sued too, motherfucker, okay? So get out of here, only one that's safe here is Johnny, and that's because he's like 18 years old. Hey, what? well, that's quite the a young, gentle giant. <laughs> Why a compliment? That's actually a compliment. Yes, yes. But, yeah, but because everyone wants to be younger. And life goals. The only drug that they found that really uh, helps it is a thing. I can't remember what they originally prescribed it for, um, but the, one of the side effects was hair growth. And people were getting like bushy eyebrows and hair on their on their faces and on their chests and whatnot, but it wasn't really helping the head. And then mm. I went into a deeper rabbit hole of learning how hair works and the growth of hair. And it's apparently uh, very similar to the idea that uh, you're, you're born with these hair follicles. Follicles, mm. but yeah. Um, the scientific <laughs> term is follicles. Right, follicles. right. Ah, uh, yes, you, follicles. Again, I, follicles. I, I don't expect you to know you, you weren't a it's doctor. That's true, that's true. Um, but uh, and after a certain while, they just age and die off, and they don't really grow. They they have like a certain maturation period, but after that, once you reach a certain age, they they just don't really rejuvenate. I mm. I just want to be very clear here. One, Johnny, please stop messing with your camera. I, why okay, am I, I really so? Why is it. my room so white? Because you're because you're in heaven. We've the established coming of Christ. Christ. Yeah. You're in heaven. Uh, also, just... I'm. I'm I'm looking at uh, Google right now, and <laughs> no. I searched. I googled uh, hair follicle definition, and I'm just gonna listen to this real fast. 
I'm pretty sure it said follicle to me and not follicule. Follicule? Uh, yeah, you know, so you're not brain, reading scientific uh, studies, you know, I'm sure they say follicule. Uh, all right, so Google so. literally, okay, Josh, because you're going to get audio from your computer, right? Yeah. You get audio. Okay, I want you to go Google hair follicle definition. Okay. Right, but of course, if you type in hair follicle, it's going to come up with follicle, you know? Follicle. Okay, so then where the hell did you get follicle from? I don't know. Brent's just invented a word called I, follicle. I made it up, but I, I've given it a Google <laughs> search, and I've come up with a definition on Urban Dictionary. Okay. It says follicle. Screw follic follicle. Follicle. Let's say follicle and claim we are right. And using no. a sentence, it is, I like how this octopus thingy stimulates my follicle. No. And this was submitted in 2005, and no. eight people have thumbs it up. Put in the doc. Put in the which, doc. Which means that... Oh, I want to meet those eight people. Which means that there are eight them. other people like me who have had their friends take the piss out of the way they pronounced it, and have decided to just search it up. Can we talk this about how this octopus real, is stimulating this follicle? Yeah, why would an octopus be doing it? And now I've looked up follicle on Urban Dictionary, and the only thing that comes up is a sexy piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> Attractive as fuck. Mm. Something that comes from somewhere amazing. Damn, look at that sexy follicle by Arabian Pikachu. How are you spelling yeah, follicle, Bren? Follicle brain. F-O-L-I-C-U-L-E. So you're not only pronouncing it wrong, but also spelling it wrong, because follicle well, has not... two L's at the beginning. No. <laughs> follicle. Follicule. No. Huh? Let's, let's move on. Wait. Y yeah. Yeah, it does have two L's, you freaking dumbass. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh my ah, god. It's like I want Foley to be like one of those yeah. elements. You know, so you, you, so you learn in school. It's you learn the, like 130 elements. Wow. Or I don't know what they're called. It's the French Folicule. word for uh for for what is it? What's, Follicle. The, what's the proper word? Follicle. That's the French way to say it. No, oh. right, right. But that just means that you were wrong because you speak English. You didn't say, oh, yeah, I was looking up uh, hair follicule uh, a couple but, of days but, ago. But, but, but I did learn French. <clears throat> did you? When I was younger. Hmm. What level did you but learn you, French you hang to? Out with, um, you hang out with Cruz a lot, and he's French, right? Mm -hmm. Plays for Team yep. France. Mm -hmm. Yep, plays for <laughs> exactly. Paris, plays for yeah, France. plays for Paris. Yep, yep. Uh, that took such uh, a weird direction. I I, uh, I started learning <laughs> French when I was in year seven, which was roughly when I was around eleven years of age. And okay. um, same. I got off to a bad start with it, uh, with the language in general, because uh, it it clashed with my drum lessons. So I was trying to pick up the drums. Uh, somehow you managed to fail at both of those things. <laughs> yes, yes. You can't speak French and I, you can't play the drums. So, so I went to my drum lessons early on for like the first half a year. And I was always late and missed the first section of my French lessons. Right. Every time. And uh, what ended up happening was, um, so I got really bad at French and I was behind in French from, from the beginning from the get-go oh that's just a slippery slope yeah <laughs> and then and then they just obviously because i went to a shit school the teacher was lovely actually though my my uh, my first initial french teacher miss beamish or mrs beamish shout out mm. to her uh, probably one of the best teachers i've ever had um she she uh god bless her there's only so much she can do uh, uh but uh, as soon as i got behind i ended up stopped i stopped doing the drums because i have no musical talent whatsoever and i cannot keep a rhythm uh, and then, so I went back into French and I was behind in French. So I did it for three years. And I, the only thing I got out of it is how to say, I eat orange trousers. And how do you say that? Je mange un pantalon. I mean, I don't, I don't even, even know if that's right. I don't even I think that's him. correct. I, I trust him. I think it might be correct. I don't I, think I it think is. It might be I, correct. I, think Je mange, the, I eat? No, because I think you're using the infinitive think... of mange, manger. Like manger is the infinitive, so I think you say je mange. Oh God, Josh. So I think you French. say I think you say je mange un pantalon, and that and that would be I am eating trousers, right? I think. Yeah, as someone who knows French, I'll 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 agree with you. I feel like you lost really the know. orange. The orange? Oh right, yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the orange was not the, orange. Yeah, I dropped the ball. At the end of the day, I mean, the whole statement was just ridiculous and stupid. So I don't. It's true. Yes. <laughs> I, I wanted to take French when I was in elementary school. But then mm. you can only, because it was such a small school, they only had two languages available. So originally it was always what were the languages? German. It was always German and French. Ah. 
And then Dude, that the white year, man's language. when I got into sixth grade, I was like, oh, I'm going to pick my language. They got rid of French and they just picked up Spanish instead. And mm. so yeah, I, I, I well, so I, I wanted to, to learn French. When did you no learn English? What? When did you learn English? I don't know. I was in school. I was playing RuneScape. I still remember. Like, Wait, I so they didn't English have English lessons? Completely from RuneScape? Yeah, we, yeah, we had English. Oh, right, and right. When I was okay. in like fourth grade or something, yeah. But I don't oh. remember, you know, like oh. what that was I was, was worried like. that your English language uh. development all came from RuneScape. That would have been well, incredible. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, a still, lot. I still remember trying to trade in RuneScape. And you would, uh, you would type like, I am selling feathers, blah, 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 50 GP or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I, I still remember to this day how like nine-year-old me just wrote uh, uh, I am as AIM. A I M, just like <laughs> aim selling, because like I didn't know I was like nine years old, and I was like aim selling feathers. And this friendly guy bought a bunch of feathers, and he was like, "Hey, by the way, you spell it I am." And I was like, "This guy made my day! Wow, I learned so, English." I just a random assumed... patron yeah. on RuneScape yeah, taught random, you yeah. English. I yeah, just assumed I, I was feathers. just meeting up with people that were English but didn't know how to spell. I didn't realize I was meeting little Swedish boys all over RuneScape. Yeah, no. That was a huge you. moment for me, and I still remember it to this day. That, that story, Johnny, is uh, not as uncommon as you think. I know tons of people who are from, like, uh, I met a tons, tons of friends from through RuneScape who are from, like, Portugal and, like, South America. You met um, your first four girlfriends through RuneScape as well, right? They all yes, turned out to they be all turned out old to men be... from the Maldives. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> oh. uh, and they yeah, came yeah. to me in the wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in Yeah. But it, uh, it happens. apparently, it's it's incredibly popular. And in fact, I actually I went to Portugal once as a kid, and I didn't like the sun, so I never went outside. And instead, I found an internet cafe and just played RuneScape for. 10 hours a day over the course of the week-long holiday in Portugal. That sounds like a great use of your time on holiday. Well, I just didn't like the sun or the beach. <laughs> yeah, no. I uh, so, so I just stayed in and played RuneScape. But uh, the internet cafe was owned by uh, some, some woman, and her son didn't speak English, and I got him into RuneScape. Mm. That's pretty so good. presumably out, somewhere out there in Portugal, there's a young boy who... Uh, who now knows English now. because of me. I had a really embarrassing situation with not, like, spelling things on RuneScape. There was... I used to go around to my friend's place to play because my parents were really strict with how long I could spend on the PC, but my, oh, friend, yeah. my friend wasn't really. Uh, so I, I would go around his place and we would play and we would, like, swap over. We had a joint account as well, as well as our, as well as our own account. against the terms of service. Mm. Well, ban, ban 13-year-old me then, I guess. But we, we would go around and, pe <laughs> and people would use shorthand, right? So we'd say, like, uh, you want this, etc., and just use the U instead of Y or U. We weren't mm. about spelling things properly. And so we would say to other people, come over here. But we would spell come, C-U-M. No. And, and, it would, and it would get starred out. Oh, and so, and so we went. That's a British thing. We went to, we went to my, we went to my friend's mum and we were like what isn't it so weird that they censor come <laughs> like why do they why is this word not allowed i don't get it and she god bless her just had to be like yeah wow that's so weird <laughs> i don't understand it wow that's so strange <laughs> and i look back at it now and i'm like oh my god how many situations like that do parents have to deal with where they was kids? it embarrassing <laughs> for you at no the time? i mean I, I didn't know what was going on at the time but yeah. just oh. i think that would have been so funny for her and then you ever get it. that kind of like cringe moment like you could just like be cooking dinner you're just like <laughs> slicing a bell pepper or something and it just strikes you like youth cringe and it's like <laughs> yeah. I, I actually oh. i had a, a moment like that like when you're and i feel bad for my mom because when i was a kid i used to eat just like anything i mean nowadays i still eat whatever i want but you know i'm not <laughs> definitely definitely more mindful of the fact that i'm older and i can't quite you know eat the way i used to eat right you can't keep um, the milk down anymore no it's more it's more the hot sauces and stuff oh, you know really? that's, that's what's first mm. to go i can still do it you know and can't I'm you fine, build up your spice level though with time no my spice level is fine like i can eat 
spicy foods, no problem. That's not the issue. He just makes a mess afterwards. After effects. <laughs> why? Why? Uh, of, if you just surely, if you keep mood. eating, it'll be, it will get better. Your stomach will get used to it. I don't know if that's how that works. Well, that's how and gut as you get older, works. As you not... get ager, you hear me? <laughs> as you get <laughs> older, you're losing it's it. The boomer, it's the boomer. Can you guys uh-huh. believe this guy's a host? <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, so as as I got older. Uh, obviously, it becomes a little bit more of a challenge. Anyway, when I was a kid, though, I ate, uh, I had I had hot sauce for the first time. Mm. And my mom remembers the story very explicitly because uh, of what I said. Because I, I was, you know, when you eat spicy foods and you go and poop, like, if you eat a lot of it, you know, it'll, there'll be a little burn. Yeah. Right? It's a, a burn, 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 the ring of fire. That's what that song was about. A little. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oof. So I ate halal, this spicy food oof. for the first time. Oh, halal, oof, big oof, big oof. <laughs> and um, and I went to my mom, and and when I pooped, I was like, I was a kid, I was really young, and I just started yelling, ah, it burns, like really, <laughs> like loud. And my mom's like, what's going on? And I'm like, on the shitter, and I'm sitting there pooping. And then uh, my mom, she's like, what's wrong? What's wrong, sweetie? And then it was like, my butthole, my butthole burns. It burns, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and she was, she said that she wanted to like laugh so much because it was so funny, but I was crying. I was really sad. So it's like, <laughs> how do parents like, like I, 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 you know, I'm not a father yet. Right. So it's like, I, I can't wait for that. I, I genuinely cannot <laughs> wait to see my kid in just really hilariously <laughs> messed up situations and just laughing internally, you know, just keep it, keep it in yeah, like the- Whenever I see like a baby trying to like climb something, you know, and they'll fall down or something like part of me like laughs. <laughs> I, like I was at the airport and I saw this kid running and it was like, ah, ah, <laughs> like just slapped on the ground. Oh, I hate that kind of stuff. It makes so, me feel uh, awful inside. Before, yeah. before we move, from, I, I have a relevant conversation topic for both RuneScape and children falling over. Uh, I have a topic <laughs> relevant to spiciness. So, but, but I, how do we navigate? So, there's only way, okay. one way to find out. You'll have to fight. <laughs> I don't know. Just talk your uh, morons. All right. So I, do you remember when I told you the story of how I lost my innocence and I murdered fish? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit before that, I started playing RuneScape when I was pretty young, and I didn't get many opportunities to play it. But I remember, like, you know, you, you get lost in a game for the first time, and you're just, like, wandering around, and you're getting lost in the world. Your imagination takes over. Lost in the and, source. And I was playing RuneScape. And reflecting on it now, hmm. well, first I'll start with this. Uh, you know, you're just exploring every nook and cranny of the world, and I go to the city of Falador, mm. and uh, I'm walking around. I'm a low level. I'm not really, don't really have any idea of what I'm doing. Uh, not really leveling up or anything. I'm just kind of wandering, and I go upstairs in a building, and I remember the exact building it was in. It was in the Falador North Eastern building before. Yeah, the, just in case people the, want to track down where this event occurred before the party room was yourself. put there. Before the party room was put there, uh, that's where I was. And I went upstairs there. I can just I feel that to... there's going to be two RuneScape players just like having E6 in this room. Oh, you know, Johnny. Go. Yeah. <laughs> well, I encountered three of them. And they were, at the time, they were pretty high level. They were level 40. Compared to me, that's pretty high level. I now know in hindsight, they're not really that high level. But they were high level at the time compared to me. And I walk in there and I start to say hello to try and meet some new friends. Uh, as an eight-year-old, and I'm immediately met with "fuck off." <laughs> okay. And and I only knew that this was a very bad word, and nobody had ever told me to fuck off before. And so immediately, I just I just this flood of emotions just came into me like that I had never felt before. Both anger and confusion, and I was upset because somebody had told me to fuck off and I didn't know why. And I and I and I just panicked and just logged off instantly. <laughs> I just ran away. I ran away from my computer. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. And uh, and that stuck with me is one of my one of my earliest memories. Oh and I God. and it's and it's like, where's the justice in the world? Why would they the justice in the world? <laughs> Where is the justice in the world? They told me to fuck off. And I now know that they were probably having cyber sex. Well, how are you making room? that leap of logic? You walked into a room and all they said was "fuck off." Because the, one of them it makes parents, perfect sense. 
one of them was wearing skimpy clothing. And it, it was a girl character in the corner surrounded by two boy characters. Okay. I and think... uh, immediately they told me to fuck off as soon as I came up the stairs. Please, and can someone do like an animation of this story? Oh, so <laughs> with, it needs to escape. It, we, need, uh, yeah, we need more talent in our team here because yeah. we, that's... You've just re... Uh, you've relit a memory in my brain that I've <laughs> hidden deep, deep away because it's See, so stupid. Oh, were you the guy that was having... No. Sex? <laughs> <laughs> that I was, was the happened. girl character. You were the girl? <laughs> I knew it the whole time. No. I No, it's even stupider than that. It's got nothing to do with RuneScape. I was outside hanging out with two of my friends and... Oh, I, God. Was, I was really young. I want to say I was like nine or ten years old. And I'd lived such a sheltered life, I had no idea what I was doing with myself. And one of my friends was talking about was talking about Converse, right? The shoes. Uh -huh. But I didn't know what they were, and I was too embarrassed to ask because they were there was like three of them and they were all talking about how cool it was, etc. etc. And and I <laughs> and I came up and I was talking to them for a while, and I, I can't remember how it, it even got to this. But one of them turned to me and went, "You're a converse," and I ran away <laughs> to my parents. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, they've been really mean to me. I don't know what they called me, but they called me something really bad, and I don't want to go out You're and play with them anymore. And they were like, "What did they call you? What did they call you?" And I was like, "No, mom, I don't want to say it. It's a bad word. <laughs> it's a bad word." <laughs> I am so <laughs> and so oh. and then my mum was like, no, don't worry, you won't get in trouble. And I was like, he called me a converse. <laughs> 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 and my mum's like, that's a type of shoe, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Go out and play with your friends. <sighs> oh fuck. Okay, so the story I'm okay, so I just to preface it real fast. All right, just so everyone understands. My mom is a sweet person, okay? She's a kind soul, all right? But sometimes she says things that are just a little mean. And she said it to me, but that's just, okay. So anyway, going back, uh, you know, it snows in the Bronx and all that stuff. So in the Bronx, you got to like shovel your front your front uh, yard, or not front yard, but like the sidewalk in front of your house. Do you have a yard a in the Bronx? Like we, we actually, yeah, we did. It was like small. That's actually where I got married from. <laughs> you got married in the yard? I got married in my house, yeah. You got married at and your man, own house. That's adorable. Oh, yeah, man. Puerto Rican wedding, baby. We kept that thing cheap as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I was we like, did. I've never heard of a traditional uh, Puerto Rican wedding. I was like, no, 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 no. There this? is no. The, the traditional Puerto Rican wedding it. costs about $100. Yo, that's, so, that's goals, though, as well. Yeah, that's oh, so definitely good. Is. Every time I keep thinking about like weddings, I may, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm actually still single. But... <laughs> When I, when I think Imagine about weddings, me. when I think about weddings, I'm just like, oh, man, fuck. I mean, I don't want it to be expensive, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, yeah. that's what me and Cynthia thought as well, because we didn't have any money. Like, we were both, like, incredibly, like, she had money, right? Because she worked a job and stuff. I was broke as shit because mm. I was, like, a struggling Call of Duty player. <laughs> I was unemployed. Right. <laughs> so I don't know why she married me, honestly. That's love. That's love. It's impressive. Yeah. It's very impressive. Yeah. Uh, so you gotta you know, run I, through the hoops of dancing classes and all I know. that, like <laughs> who each row. So, so she, uh, so she was like, well, "Why don't we, why don't we get married at your house?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, let's do that." And you know, the way we went about doing it was like, whenever we have get-togethers, like family get-togethers, our uh, our family would bring like food and stuff. So we told mm. our family to bring all the food, bring all the booze. Well, actually, it didn't say bring the booze. My wife didn't want any booze, but my dad brought the booze anyway. <laughs> and then, you know, things like that. So anyway, That's that was good. my wedding. A few but cold this ones. Was, but that was years later after all this, although I do have some hilarious stories about my mom and my wedding. I will save that for another day. For this story, though, my mom uh, wanted me to go out and shovel the snow in the, uh, in, 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 in the front of the house and there's a sidewalk and you got to clear the snow if you don't clear the snow you can get a ticket right that's just how that's, that's so how it weird. is in new york city it no, really so is weird. it is super yeah, I mean, weird you don't want people to die you know trip yeah, and die. It's like, that seems like sure. such an american way of doing it it's like oh pass, we'll give it to the people yeah too. pass the responsibility <laughs> yeah. to the civilians I, I think it was the same when i grew up uh it was essentially like if the garbage truck 
couldn't get through because of snow or anything, then they just didn't pick up your trash. Because they were like, oh, it was stored like out, well. stored out sure. your lot so we can like actually, actually pick up the trash. Otherwise, yeah. we'll just say screw it. I get that. I get that. Like if you had if you had like rubbish and stuff on the side and you like left it there and it was not in a in a manner of which the garbage people could like pick it up. And by rubbish we mean like uh like if you're throwing away like furniture or big that items. So, it's so weird to me that people put furniture just outside I've on, never on thrown the side out of the road. But that seems, yeah. That seems I, I we used to do that because Craigslist wasn't a thing back then. Yeah, people still right? do it but, in LA though. There's like random oh, yeah. sofas on the side of the road. Just why? I put on Craigslist for free, and I just hope. Why do people do that? Do that? It, people what, can like, come and pick it up if they want it, or the eventually the garbage people come and pick it up. It's just, yeah, it's essentially I mean, just like legal fly to fly to pick, as far as I know. It might not even be it. legal. I have no idea. People do it all the time though. You are not technically. You are not allowed to go through trash technically in New York. Right, but there's also a lot of technical things in New York that happen. The rats do it anyway. Don't really care about. So that's just how it is. Um, but like we have an have area to... in, our, yeah, we have an area in our apartment building. It's like the void. We will put something there and it'll disappear. Like two, <laughs> like like an hour later. I had a I had a monitor that uh, a very old monitor that Cynthia used for her old computer that I took downstairs and I just put a sticky note like uh, it works well, just very old. <laughs> it's like what I put on it. And uh, it was gone like 40 minutes later. That's so a wholesome up. deal. That's like you good. made someone's day by giving away a monitor. Uh, and I mean, that, anyway. that, sounds, that sounds dumb because it's like, oh, it's an old monitor or whatever. But like for someone, that monitor, you're so still has some value. Mm. You're so wholesome. Who isn't wholesome <laughs> yeah, is my mother. That's, that's so wholesome. All right, what, like did, what did your mother what my mom did. I need so to I, give I, away I, a kettle. <laughs> so if, if you need a kettle, send me a tweet. It's, a bit, it's used, but it works better than a broken Why one. are you giving away mm. a kettle? Because I have two. Why do you have two? <laughs> because well, you one, said clearly. this, that LA water is very hard. Yeah. Right. And I, I got a bunch of uh, marks or whatever in the bottom of the kettle. And you said it was because I used unfiltered water from the tap. Yeah. yeah. And so I started filtering water in a new kettle because I wanted like a fresh kettle. Which has also started building marks, by the way. So you, but that's not just lime scale. You lie, Brand, yeah, but that's I pay just lime kettles. scale. It's just lime scale. You just clean it off. I mean, Johnny, I don't know if you know what cleaning is, but you... I trusted coach. Brent. I thought he'd know tea. <laughs> <That's laughs> so he said, he said, it's because you're using the wrong water. So I bought a new kettle to use new water. And, uh, and, and it's it, still getting... It's still uh, <laughs> 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 well, I thought it was permanent damage. I I'm going to be real with you, though. I mean, it, the, the water does mess up in LA. Like, th there's a section of my bathtub where there's a little jet of water that sprays out of the tap because it's just a little bit funky. Yeah, uh, the high pressured water from the shower is causing an orange discoloration of my bathtub. Yeah, because the iron oxide because they piped the water down from Colorado or wherever. Else. Yeah, you gotta you gotta clean up the the, the tap and the uh, the thing yeah. you hold. What is it called? I'm glad that our listeners and viewers can learn about <laughs> you hold. Anyway, like I, I think Alex has been trying towers. to tell this all right. story. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> let me finish this up. Let me finish this up. Anyway, what is it called? So, you spray water. The shower head, I think. Yes, the thanks. shower head. What is shower it called? Head. You spray water. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I wanted to know. Yeah, it's uh, education, you, Johnny. Okay, so moving forward. So I had to go out and shovel, but we were staying home from school that day. We were snowed in for the school. And uh, it was like, all right, everyone stay in school. It's very, very rare for New York to do that. So me and my friends were like, hey, let's just go to your place and we'll just play Halo all day. I was like, tight, let's do that, right? Goals. So my boy, Jonathan, came over and, uh, and we, were, we were pumped. We were pumped, getting ready to game. Uh, my mom then says, hey, you got to go outside and shovel. I was like, come on, man. I don't want to do that right now. And she's like, listen, just go do it real fast. So I did. I, I took like a small path. I took care of that. She's like, no, 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 no. In typical freaking Puerto Rican fashion. You're going to do the whole thing or you'll do nothing at all. You know, like that. <laughs> so I was like, all right, fine. So then I, I, and then I went back out and I did. And she was like, no, 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 no. You got to go back out there and do it. Clear everything and put the, put the salt down. And I was like, mom, it's still snowing. If I go out there and I put the salt down, the freaking, the snow's just going to go on top of the salt. She's like, oh, no, but if you put the salt down, then the snow's going to stop. It's like, the salt's not like a snow repellent. It's, <laughs> it's, the snow still falls, you know, like, there's nothing I could do anyway. So I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not going outside. I want to spend time with my friends. I'm not doing it. So she says a few colorful things to me. But the one thing that she ended it off with was she said, 
stop being a punk ass bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I was like stunned because she said a lot of things to me that I cannot repeat for the sake of, <laughs> of the podcast, but she capped it off with that final phrase. And then at that point, my boy came down the steps and was like, yo, your mom just called you a punk ass bitch <laughs> <laughs> to play. So then I went outside and I shoveled the snow. Mm. So well, your that did play it. Halo without you while you oh, were yeah. snow. Oh, yeah. They saw me freaking hacking away at the snow and stuff. And they just came over and they're like, hey, hey, what's up, Alex? I was like, hey, what's up? It was like, can you help me out? Nah. And then we'll go inside. Because <laughs> no one, because here's the thing with my mom, right? If you do one thing for her, okay, if you help her with one thing, she will remember that for the rest of her life. And she and she would if you come over, it's not to hang out or to see her. It's to work. It is. To huh. <laughs> That's how it is when you have a Puerto Rican mother. OK, that is how they operate. So, yes, my mom. I yeah. love you, mom. But I also that's, hate that's my that's sometimes. my that was my grandma as well. She made you. Like, oh, have you come over to cut the grass? And I was like, no, <laughs> I come to take care of you and make sure you're OK. Sweet. It's like, oh, so go cut the grass. And I'm like. Yeah, it's no? just it's something about grandmothers and cutting grass. Do I get paid? <laughs> it's like, it's I something get about paid? cutting the lawn. Because yeah, always, my, you know. Every time I go over to see my gran as well, I, I mean, God bless her. She lent me a, a bunch of money. I don't know why I'm talking smack on her. Yeah, I'm, you're I'm, talking I'm, shit about your nan that yeah. lent you five not, grand oh, when you moved not over really, to the US. actually. You know, all I'm saying is she would always, always say, you know, oh, you're going to cut just the lawn grass. for me? You're going to cut the grass? And I'd be like, oh, I don't really want to because I, I have really, really severe hay fever in the UK. Every time summertime, yeah. uh, if I go outside, I'm, I'm done. Like uh, my face just sw sw gets super swollen. It's not good. It's not a great sign. My, uh, go on. Continue. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, crap. My... hold on, just want to say, I just got Borderlands 3 code. Let's go. Sorry, continue. Nice. When does that what? come out? I don't know what that is. I think it comes out like Thursday. I've never played a Borderlands game. Are they good? Oh, Can Bren I mean... talk about his hay fever? In go, go, go. <laughs> talk about your hay fever, Ben. Or Ben. It's, Bren. It's well, I just, I never, I never <laughs> used to like doing it because uh, I would cut the grass and I would come back in and the grass would be cut, but then I wouldn't be able to see. Mm. Because my face would be swollen like that, and my my nose would be running, and I had to breathe through my mouth. It's One not time bad. I was walking back from school. Yeah, it used to be really bad when I was a kid. One Jeez. time I used to I used to walk from my primary school. There's a little back path that we used to call the Ash Path. Um, the Ash Path. That sounds yeah. like it's from a video game. The Ash it's, Path. Yeah. You have to walk the Ash Path to get to your final goal. <laughs> Which is school, but I, I used to I, I used to I used to walk from from school back and forth and whatnot. And in the summer, I'd walk past, and the, the ash path was like it's a little uh, creek, a little brook, and uh, mm. there would be a bunch of fields. And my God, when they were pollinating, when the flowers were fucking, <laughs> ah, my God, my face was just blown up. And I, I I remember getting home one day at my grandparents, and uh, and they didn't recognize me. They didn't recognize you. They didn't recognize oh, me. Oh, it's like I've that scene from Harry Potter where he just curses his own face and he's got lumps everywhere and they're not yep. sure who it is. They didn't recognize me. They didn't know who I was. <laughs> I walked to my grandparents because I was like walking on the way there. And like as I was walking, I just got so used to hay fever. You just kind of put up with it, right? Right. Mm. And, uh, and antihistamines didn't really do anything. I got there and knocked on the door and just walked in because they keep the door open. And uh, my grandmother was, oh, you lost. My great grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. She, me. How she said it? <laughs> how she said it? How, how did she say it? Yes. Oh, are you lost? <laughs> but it's actually with an Irish accent, which I can't really replicate. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. I, I don't. I think I would recognize my family even if they'd been horrifically mangled in accidents oh, she and was stuff. Great grandmother. Yeah. Was I she mean, blind? No. No. <laughs> Uh, I, she, I don't want to. I don't want to. My family, great yeah. grandmother, but I'm saying she was probably a tad my, old. My family, they have families at young ages. Now I don't know what you call that. Uh, promiscuous, probably is the word you would <laughs> what? use. <laughs> what? <Say> that up. <laughs> they have families at young ages. Everyone in my family has been like born in their. I mean, I'm the first person in my family in a long line to not have a kid as soon as I hit twenty. What about your? What about your gay uncle? 
Well, he, yeah, obviously he's a bit of an exception. And also my other uncle in Australia has, has doesn't have a kid yet. So you're not the first. But in the line of, of <laughs> yes, I'm not the first. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just stop him in the lie right there. The, the <laughs> point is. But uh, a lot of your parents did, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, was, uh, I, I was lucky enough to um, be able to see and spend time with my great-grandparents. Well, how old were they then? How old were your um, great-grandparents when you were young? Because if, if everyone in your family, 70s. in their 70s, a great-grandparent, yeah, that that's is, so that is cool, really though. young. That's like four yeah. generations ahead of you. Like, yep. well, it doesn't make much difference because it's still an age thing. But I'm just saying, My, I don't know what uh, I'm saying. Three generations, <laughs> they right? <laughs> they... I, lost, I lost track of that one, Johnny. Yeah, Sorry, but it just... It doesn't, yeah, you don't have more life experience by being a great-grandparent at the age of 70 than a grandparent at the age of 70, presumably. I mean, maybe a little bit, but... Mm, I, it just sounds so life. pathetic when I, when I was going to say that they experience life in such a different way. And it just sounds pathetic when I say that, because that's literally history or whatever. But it's like... <laughs> my, I, don't, I don't even know where to follow that. I'm just going to yeah, tell well, you about you my say, grandma. Like, I know. Oh, that that's a four generation thing. That's like that's a big deal. That's four generations. That's massive. That's such a long time. Mm. Yeah. But yes. in this context, it's still to, it's yeah, not I, a long I'm time. I'm trying to do yeah. mental arithmetic Sorry. as to when my mum had me. Well, do you know how old your mum is, and do you know how old you are? Because then you just minus your age from hers. I know it's very easy <laughs> like that, but <laughs> it's super easy. Yeah, and then guess the year after that. Too. What are you struggling Wait, with? You know are you struggling with born. how old your <laughs> mum is? Yes. You don't know how Sorry, old your mother is. No, I'm pretty is. sure my mum is 49. Okay. And you were born in 93 or something. You're 23. Yeah. So she was 26 then. I'm glad you guys didn't catch that freaking... I'm sure she what, was... What did you say? Moment for me. What did you I say, Alex? Like, I was like, oh, yeah, you do that. And then, and then uh, figure out what year you were born. You <laughs> 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 know what year you are born. <laughs> Just Wait, I'm work. lost in the sauce. What is happening? <laughs> Alex oh, tried to do okay. mental maths and failed. Ren was like, I'm trying to figure out when, uh, I, when, how old my, how old my mom was when I was born, right? And then Josh is like, Oh yeah, you just subtract your age from your mom's, and he's like, Oh yeah, that makes sense. And then I, with my freaking smooth ass brain, came in and was like, Oh yeah, and then figure out what year you were born. <laughs> like, we all know what year we're born. Oh, that's amazing! Yeah. Like it's some okay, hidden I, information. Oh. I, I I just had I just had like a smooth brain moment. Mm -hmm. I'm really really sorry. Mm -hmm. That was well, great. That was great. My, it's just a number. My grandma oh. makes uh, makes people <laughs> makes people vacuum clean the ceilings because they get dusty occasionally. The so ceilings. I, <laughs> the ceilings. Yeah. <laughs> the ceilings don't uh, get dusty. <laughs> they do. Wait, how? They well, do they do us. get dusty. My, Have you my... never seen anything hang down from the roof, like a piece of right? But they're normally in the corners and stuff. But yeah, the the middle of the... so. But also, my my grandpa, bless him, has to <laughs> yeah. do all of the jobs that my grandma cooks up. And so my grandma, because she's pretty neurotic, will do will say things like, "Oh, the ceiling needs hoovering," <laughs> and he'll have to get the hoover up, flip it upside down, <laughs> and start hoovering the ceilings. And I've walked into their house sometimes and been like. Grandpa, are you having a senile moment? What's going on? <laughs> and he's like, no, no. The, the wife just wants me to vacuum I can, I can clean the I can tell where ceiling. you got your intelligence from. <laughs> Which one, the Damn, grandpa or the so grandma? I, I don't know. The grandma. Both. Yeah. Is, the it, grandma is intelligence the, genetic? The... Yeah, I think there's some genetic component of intelligence. Oh, Almost, probably. <laughs> I mean... All right, let's see here. I, I think probably... Almost all of it will be how you're brought up, but there's probably some innate, like, how quickly you grasp onto ideas or whether you're better at certain topics than others. I would imagine there's... I mean, there's a genetic, genetic so component is, to almost everything. So is, is intelligence determined by genetics? Like most aspects of human behavior and cognition, intelligence is a complex trait that is influenced both by genetic and environmental behaviors. Or, yeah. or excuse me, factors, wow. not behaviors. Factors. Like everything. Man, like, so what yeah, is it so that's called? That's like a fucking non-answer I've ever I've ever yeah. seen there. Is there is there a word Stupid for SNI, when you're US very intelligent and medicine. smart, but you're very inconsistent? 
And so sometimes you're really smart most of the time, and then you have some papaya moments. Like, <laughs> That's called being from the hood, portrait. baby. And just like, because I consider myself not a super smart person. I consider myself above average smart, but I'm also super dumb in some scenarios. And I just say the most absurd stuff that makes my girlfriend question my own existence. And <laughs> and I just like, is there a word for inconsistency with intelligence? Um, Have you ever considered that you just might not be intelligent? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. No, because I've seen how you act sometimes. It's I used impossible. to think I was intelligent when I was at school because, to be fair, I was above average intelligence in Gloucester, but uh, <laughs> I realized I wasn't. So, uh, so the, the epiphany that you came to was Context everyone in Gloucester is so dumb that it made just even me look intelligent. all of Gloucester just like that. That's yeah, great. yeah. I, I mean, I, I think... I'm not wrong. I think it depends I, yeah. whether you talk things through before the idea is fully formulated as well. Like, a lot of the mm. time, people seem really intelligent or articulate or something because it's a thought that they've, like, mulled over a lot in their head sure. already. But if if everybody talked through their thought process every time they did something, then you'd hear all of the ideas that they discard that are super dumb. So I Which think just people that tend to talk more. Dishonest. What because is no, it's not, I don't know. I don't it's, think it's dishonest. Well, I, I consider it, if you speak before you think, sometimes, it's sometimes... A lot more genuine, which is more descriptive descriptive of who you actually are rather than you, who you thought out to be. But now you're saying that Ooh. you are genuinely dumb, <laughs> because the moments where you speak without thinking no. are more genuine than when you think before speaking. Well, hmm. I think that's where sort of like IQ tests stem from, is that it's actually like pretty quick, like fast tasks right. Intuition. that you have to solve in a short amount of time, yeah, yeah, you're and it's sort to... of like. How, how much time do you need mm -hmm. to figure out the problem? I don't mean I like censoring your language, though. Like, I'm not saying that people are, you know, uh, are censoring themselves and filtering it and only presenting the best possible parts of themselves. It's just sometimes you have dumb ideas in your head that, that immediately you're like, oh, no, that couldn't possibly be true. But if you actually say them, then you have to also say, oh, oh no, yeah. wait, no, that's stupid. So yeah, I, I believe that there are We've varying degrees yeah, of that's intelligence, fine. right? Like, there's... So I think, right, like, so I, I measure based on high school, right? High school, I was, I, if you ask me anything about chemistry or biology or even math, I'd be like, huh? I wouldn't have any idea, like, what's <laughs> going on, right? I'd be huh? <laughs> completely lost, right? I mean, I just a freaking, just an idiot, right? Uh, but, but I believe that I am very crafty. And crafty, I think because okay. of my craftiness, because... Because of my like, I I well, I would call it street smarts, yeah. right? That yeah. I've like gotten this far in my life. But I am not. I don't think I'm smart at all. Like there are so many things in this world that I simply don't know. And if it wasn't for Google, I would probably be dead. So, <laughs> in that regard, I mm. feel like there are just different kinds of smart. Whereas my wife, for example, I would ask her and I'd say. You know, I, I'd ask her something and she'd know. And I'm like, man, you're like super smart. And she'd be like, no, I just remembered it. And it's like, because she's just good at memorizing. Yes. So when she went yeah. to high school and college, she just remembered a bunch of things, right? But that doesn't necessarily make her smart, right? Mm, that sure. just makes her, yeah, no, yeah. Just, she's like yeah. good at memorizing stuff. She's like, she has a fantastic memory and she's able to articulate that still, right? I do not possess said fantastic memory. Right. As yeah. anyone who's ever seen me work or heard me on this podcast or interacted with me in a face to face <laughs> basis would know. Uh, so I think that she has I don't know where I'm going with this, but I think she has one area of intelligence. Yeah. I have another area of intelligence Does that yeah. combined. You are it, 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 not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it feels like I'm like. Never mind. I'm not going to go down that road. Oh, on, <laughs> oh, oh, hilarious. No, I'm not going to. Oh, Johnny, do it. Oh, no, do it. Come on, Johnny. No. Peer pressure. Peer no. pressure. What do you mean? Anyway, so I think. <laughs> no, you can't just I change think, the subject. <laughs> I what? think that Spice is the most. <laughs> wait, wait a second. What? <laughs> no, You're no, trying no, no. to send us down the Spice pathway now. You're going to tell us the spice story after we all want to know what your I'm just views trying, on intelligence are. I'm just trying to go down a different path. Oh, that is very smart of you, Johnny. <laughs> well, 
Let me tell you about smart. Oh, I want to say it's smart. I just let say me, it's very Let me good. tell you about smart. I've known a lot of people in my life. Okay. okay. And uh, there's, there's a particular type of person. And I, I first encounter, you first encounter them in school, right? And they ain't happy. They're not happy individuals. Hmm. But they, they go out of their way, put other people down by trying to be smart. Right. And then you often find them, I find, this is where they accumulate. They accumulate in the STEM subject areas. Have you, have you guys ever encountered Wait, people like this? What's STEM subject? Science, te uh, technology, English, and, and mathematics. Well, I studied environmental science in high school, so I'm Dude, sorry, Ren. Yeah, you know, no, 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 no. I'm not saying you're that person, but have you, have you guys ever encountered someone like this? Oh, Who yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sure. air of superiority because oh, yeah. they... Yeah, yeah, being snotty about shit. Right, oh, yeah. yeah. So counter that shit in esports and all these freaking events i work you're like shut up okay uh, yeah i mean listen at monty next time okay <laughs> all right listen, no at him, all right it's definitely start not twitter, him start a twitter argument okay <laughs> yeah but but uh, I, that, there was a and I've, I've mentioned this before but i was like you know i was pretty good at mathematics uh i was i was going into programming and computer science and uh, uh i wasn't happy because i was trying too hard to be intelligent to sort of fit the idea of what somebody in those subjects should be like. And, so you thought uh, it would be better to be dumb? I just embraced who I truly was. <laughs> really what it, what it I love that. To. I'm, I'm so jealous sometimes of how just like genuine you are to yourself. Well, just yeah. be. It just just be truly genuine. amazes me, Ren. What? Just be genuine to you. Forehead? Yeah, but it... <laughs> That's the name yeah, of the boy. show. Oh no! I mean, of course, that sounds like a really stupid thing, but but uh, there's I I don't think there's really anything stopping people being. Uh, no, but I I think how they want to be for for some people who are so lost at sea as to who they are. Oh, I see. Right. They right. need to actually take a lot of time to reconsider who they are before they can be genuine. Sure. Because how can identity. you be genuine if you don't know what who you are, yeah. who you really are? And this started sounding really depressing. Can we talk about spice? <laughs> yeah, go on, Johnny. Tell us about go your on, spice. Johnny. Tell us about that spice. I, I don't know how long, the spice industry. I, I don't know how long we're gonna go on for this. We have but enough anyway, time for your spice. Story. How long is your spice story, Johnny? Is it gonna <laughs> take us? Well, episode. I'm just saying. No, I, well, I'm just <laughs> hypothetically. Whatever. Screw you. Um, so I went up to San Francisco this okay. uh, past weekend, uh, and I went to saw a, a, a 20th anniversary Metallica concert, which was lovely. Not gonna talk about that though. Mm. Uh, it was an incredible trip, and a lot of people talked about the food in San Francisco. And mm. Golden Boy probably knows. Yeah, the food in the Bay Area is incredible. It so I found bad. myself on the first night at one a.m. Me and my girlfriend we went to uh, a Korean authentic food place. Okay, and we got some spicy. Uh, I think it's called Tokboki. It's like the rice, the roll up rice cakes or whatever. And it's like ramen. It's just like a bunch of spices, veggies. We got some fried chicken. It was great. It was sick. Um, second day, we didn't have spicy food. Third day, we, I had spicy food while pretty drunk. I got okay. like a street food hot dog. And they just put it all on there. And it was like some really spicy peppers. Is that good mm -hmm. shit? That, that good shit. That good mm -hmm. shit. And I haven't really had spicy food in a long time. And I realized that bang for your buck spiciness is the best trait for food because it's the most like sense inducing trait food can give you you can you can you can be like oh i really like sweet food you know like desserts they're so good like i really like donuts i really like donuts and like maybe you know you can enjoy that bite you know can enjoy the bite of the donut you know it's sweet it's sure. everything you wanted sure yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but if you eat something that's really 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 fucking spicy your entire body will just like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just saying, the the amount of emotion that spice can trigger, it, it just has to be the superior, just has to be the superior but, trait to but, food that you should sort of try to harness. Whoa! You know when you were saying your your brain comes out weird shit sometimes, Johnny. <laughs> well, what if it what if it was causing you crippling full body pain? That would still be the most body experience a food could give, but it would be horrific. I I don't think you're following me here. Well, don't no, it, you're you're saying that spice. Okay, are you saying like you get your money's worth depending on the spice? Is that yeah? What you're I, I'm I'm essentially saying that spice. 
is to me anyway. I mean, it's all personal preference. But I'm just saying that spice sure. and it uh, like the feeling of like spicy food um, and the entire experience of eating spicy food is way superior to being satisfied with something sweet or being satisfied with something okay, sour. Okay, okay. Like spice so, is just such an incredible, overwhelming so experience. I, if you I have, like good spicy food. I would disagree only because if flavor. I think is the ultimate measure which spice falls under flavor because think about it like this if you have a steak right although Josh is a vegan now we already covered this topic but <laughs> no if, not, not a vegan if, but if all we right. have a steak that is very flavorful and you have like maybe a garlic butter or something like that like kind of something that's like right over the, the the steak and then you get that char and 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 just that good the good and, and by spice, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about hot, right? Like yeah, spicy, hot, yeah. hot. Okay, because yeah. there's spices, obviously, sure. right? Like peppers and all, like yeah. pepper. Okay, so I I view flavor as the ultimate thing, and then spice falls within under that. Am I am I want a flavorful meal? But if I want to pay for a spicy meal, then I would go into that. Sure, into that but, but, but that's it, what I'm saying. Bang that, for your buck, provide more. That is more bang for my buck. Then if I were to go to a sweet place, example, this weekend went to this spot called Sugar Factory in Atlantic City and paid like $8 for this like strawberry milkshake that everyone was like, oh man, it's so good, blah, blah, blah. And I had it and I was like, this is shit. Why did I pay $8 for this? This is awful, yeah. right? But if they would have like given me, you know, a burger for $8 and it was like really yummy and delicious and you know, I would have been like, oh yeah, I'm all about that shit. So then I'm, I'm very satisfied. I don't know. Right, no, saying, I, sugar I, isn't as fulfilling. No, I, I, I agree. I, I would say that. But but the um the <laughs> idea that having a full body shuddering and shaking from spice is like okay, I'm not, getting I'm not, banned I'm not, for your I'm buck. Not ill. I'm not ill. No, I know, but but, but, but say you got like a like one Carolina Reaper. Or, or, or maybe or maybe you're doing what Josh typed in RuneScape. <laughs> oh, Alex! <laughs> there goes our ad revenue. Oh. oh, I laughed so hard I just farted. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> so, good. so good. I just felt it right on my chair. This chair seen a lot, hurt a lot. So That's phenomenal. Moving forward. Ah, but what? But uh, what about? Um... Like if you just had a Carolina Reaper, that's max spicy for very little fla for l very little cost. Sure, but, but then it's you not enter, as nice. Then then you enter the like harmful territory. So right. you're saying uh, to a certain for you for you it's to a certain point. Yeah, that's why I said harness. I very okay. because I, okay. you should try to harness like spice overall. If you just mm -hmm. stick to mild food the entire life, I think that you're yeah. kind of like the way like when you have like out. a pad thai. Or something like that, right? Yeah. When the pad thai is like a good subtle spice oh, to yes. it, but it adds, you know, Honestly. that that peanut yeah. lime flavor. But then you have that subtle spice that sometimes added. I, when I we can were in uh, when we were in Thailand, I would be regularly hung over at the pool by the hotel, <laughs> and uh, they had a great pad thai. Working, oh, of course. Oh, <laughs> working the World oh, Cup. <laughs> no, no, it was only when we weren't working. Yeah, yeah. I was never. Well, you, you're saying, yeah, yeah, Brad, yeah, yeah. That'll fool them. No, genuinely, I don't. I can't remember ever drinking on a night that we were working. No, I'm. I'm sure we didn't. I'm sure we didn't. We're very professional sure we and responsible. Yeah, very professional. Or you just had too much. I forgot about professional. Super professional. <laughs> uh, but but I remember just exactly what you were talking about. There's something about it. It's just fantastic. Yeah. I mean, Thailand just has fantastic food, just in general. That's how I felt yeah. about Peruvian ceviche when I was in Lima with Cynthia. We went to the spot, and me and Cynthia don't like to get it too spicy, but when they had the ricotta, like the, the, the pepper, and they just grind it in there, and they mix it in with the fish and the lime juice and the onions and everything, and you Oof. get that spice. Oof, my goodness yeah. gracious. Do you me enjoy sake. Do you enjoy sweating <laughs> and hiccuping and stuff when you when you eat spice? Because I know some people only feel like they've had a really like properly hot meal that'll satisfy them if they're genuinely like sweating and having that full body I, feel I to sweat it. I don't enjoy that. I'm I don't living. find that good. No, I don't want that. No, Ooh. but I thought you you could like grow accustomed to spice. Yeah, Is that not true. You, you, no, you I'm sure you can. Yeah, I'm you sure do. You, you gain a tolerance. I, 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 I tell you what. One of the first things that I remember in my mind of when I really started to enjoy spice was when uh, I was in London. And our family was meeting up with some 
my uncle from Australia and he was over yeah. here. We went to a London curry house. And it's like just turned 18, so you know, still getting used to to drinking legally. And uh I had a couple of pints, pretty blasted. My uncle was really a terrible influence in that regard. <laughs> the man would just shove drinks down my neck. And uh I remember eating this curry, and it was probably the most single defining the best meal I think I'd ever had at the time. Mm. Now, it could have been the alcohol, but the spice mixed in with just everything, the flavor. Oh, my God. Even now, thinking about it, my mouth is just <laughs> going crazy. But at the time as well, I was blasted, and I just kept yeah. saying over and over again, oh, my God, this is the best curry I've ever had in my life. Just over and over and over again. I think spicy Something food goes it. better when you're drunk. I don't know if yeah. there's any science behind that, but it seems to be a classic, amazing combo. Like curry and a tinny is what they call it. In but the North yeah. That's why I'm blown away. <laughs> How this five dollar hot dog cooked outside the arena of a concert just like Oh, me. you had one. Oh I see. Yeah. Now you I understand like, where your thesis came from. It was like I was like chasing down this man like cooking a hot dog on his grill. You had a Mexican this, like, hot dog with the peppers yeah. and stuff. Yeah, with the peppers and stuff. And the, the cops were like, Oh, you have to get off the property of the arena and stuff. Like you have to cook elsewhere. You can't sell your stuff here. And I was like yeah. chasing this guy down. I was like, I want a hot dog, I want a hot dog. And like, Giant man. And this money. hot dog was just like so good with the spice and everything. <laughs> I was like, this five dollar hot dog. Like I haven't Wait, where would you where'd you go for the concert? San Francisco. Uh so Chase Center. Oracle? So they just built a new ch Chase Center, a new stadium in San Francisco. Um and it's supposed to like replace the Oracle. Got so, it. So you were, so you were uh, uh, off of that. Yeah. Okay. So you were, I was in San Francisco. I was, like, I was not in Oakland. You were. Oh, Chase Center. Okay. Hold on. You yeah, said so it was it's a new. Over. It's a new stadium. Oh, whatever. for the Warriors. Okay. I get yeah. it now. I get it now. Yeah. No, those Mexican hot dogs are mind blowing, bro. They are really? so good. I, I've always, yeah. I've always seen them out when I, when I leave events, and I've never wanted to go for them because they scare me. Well, no, I, I was, no, I was okay. drunk. Admittedly, mm -hmm. I, I had a great night. I was actually. Because what, what was so unique about that concert experience was, like, it's such a 20th anniversary, you know, it's a big thing. It's such a mm -hmm. huge deal for everybody. So there were so many people that traveled there. So I was watching this concert alone because the tickets were pretty expensive. Um, um, and I sat next to two German dudes. Behind me were two people from Uruguay. <laughs> and to my right were two local Americans. And we, awesome. just, we just bonded over the entire concert experience. And naturally, I bought beers to the German guys beside me. And the German guys just, like, went out of control. <laughs> like, they started, like, mosh-pitting, like, in the, in the standing row and just, like, dragging people around and, like, singing and, like, having a great time. And, like, the, the native San Francisco Americans, they, like, gave me whiskey. And I was like, was incredible. <laughs> wow. And I just left that arena just like, I want a hot dog. I want a hot dog, dude. <laughs> and it was the best hot dog I've had in so long. And like the entire experience just like blended together to just like incredible nights. Huh. And uh, that, that just made me realize how good spice is. Mm. Yeah. Spice is yeah. Like, We've all spice. had a moment like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've all had a drunken moment like that. Spice, yeah. I think spice, the re one of the reasons that spice is so fantastic is that it's such a powerful flavor. It disguises kind of shitty meat. Yes. I, I love cooking with really hot spices because... Man, I fuck up my cooking on a regular basis. <laughs> and like spices just salvage that shit. You make that shit super hot and I'm like, oh fuck, this is really good. No, nah, it's just really spicy. Yeah, know? but yeah, that's why yeah. Koreans, they cook with spam. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah that's it, a lot yeah. of the time in their like, like big military soup. of pots or whatever, it's just oh, spam soup. and a ton of spice. Whew, military yeah. soup, god tier. Military Shout soup is wolf, crazy, dude. But it's so good. Yeah. yeah. So like spam and other stuff. I like the origins of it as well. It's like... Uh, uh, Korean food is so good. Yeah, oh. it's uh, it's they made it with the pr uh, the what do you call it provisions that the Americans provided them after the Korean War. Yeah, so it's made mm -hmm. of a bunch of like just spam and other stuff, but they just like pump it up with spice, baby. Yeah, get some ramen in that bad boy. It's the saltiest thing ever. You eat that, you're having oh. cardiac arrest within yeah, 24 hours. You you getting that 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 sodium sweat on? Yeah. Oof, my god, it's crazy. Exactly, picante. Exactly. Picante. picante. I used to love when John when Johnny would say that on the desk. I said it on the desk the other day. You it did? Throwback. Yeah, throwback. Throwback, baby. And I you know you gotta sanitize it. too. You gotta sanitize. I felt dirty saying it though. Wait, who was on the sanitized desk that crumbs? That me, you and Bren. Crumbs. Because yeah. I remember I took the 
sanitization bottle and just blasted Crumbs' hands, and <laughs> he didn't know what to do. He, like, panicked. <laughs> so yeah. what he did... I just was... remember Crumbs just getting in both hands and just... Yeah. Going... And he slapped them together, <laughs> and the force of his hands coming together, <laughs> like, slammed sanitization liquid in my eyes. <laughs> And then I was like, well, the show must go on, even though I'm blind. <laughs> so I just had to continue. Dude. Oh, that explains your oh. analysis. Uh, was... <laughs> I was blind oh, while watching the games. I've been blind was... the entire year, apparently. That was such a that was such a good... I, I miss those days. Those are fun. Those are fun ones. Yeah, uh, fun days, funny so. fact, by the way. Um, when was it? I think it was the other day. I had I had posted in our in our WhatsApp group. Why is I said no. New York baby, woohoo, right? <laughs> and oh. then Bryn responds, "Had the Jets as my defense, they pounded." I was talking about the NYXL. Show where our heads were at, man. That's great. That's great. Yeah, NYXL is doing really well. I, I, it's, it's a little unfortunate that Philly made it to the finals in New York and New York might make it to the finals yes. in Philly. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? That's so dumb, but whatever. I mean, it happens like that, I guess. That's it uh, be like that. Yeah. It'd be like that. Mm. I think my connection hang again. It is a mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah. But, but we've, we've got a full show on our hands now. Mm. Oh, all but right. we may have to wrap it up, Alex. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Yeah, we're just gonna, dude, we're just gonna let Alex lag around in the background as well. Uh, close it, close it, yeah, close it out, close well, it out. Just before we close, though, when we're talking about Philadelphia, we are planning to have a live show with a combination of the Plat Chat a squad, which is just us plus Matt, and then the four heads as well, probably called the Plat Heads. I don't think we've actually decided on a name, but Plat Heads seems like the most reasonable. Uh, but it'll be a live show on the Thursday before Grand Finals. We'll be getting you ticket information at some point shortly. But things are going well for that, so uh, we'll hopefully see you there. That'll only be in a couple uh, of weeks' time, too. I want to read out a review. Oh, go on, then. Leave iTunes reviews. Um, this is from Lavindo. I think I'm back. There's a title that says, I'm here to review. I don't know why I watch, but the stories are so stupid and random. I guess it becomes interesting. <laughs> Solid. That's Great. a ringing endorsement. Keep up the good work and don't become intelligent, forehead. Mm, don't become intelligent. Don't become intelligent. Oh, yeah. The, the most recent review is just a five-star review that says, it's titled Good, and the good. body of it says, Good. Good. <laughs> I like that, though. Um, Those are the real limit piece, though, because they, they leave a review without any... Hmm. You know, they they just they just want to leave a review. Wait, when did we yeah. last? They don't want to be funny. Reviews. They don't want to be read out. They're just like, yeah, I want to give these guys a review. These Good. are all new. We got some fucking great ones. Do we? I'm lagging. Yeah, okay. you're you're dead. We're we're carrying on without you, Alex. This is the three heads at this point. This is the three heads. So this one is from the Niche ninety five. This is on the fifth of September, which I think was yeah Thursday. Oh yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It's a new one. This is new. This podcast alone is the best example of how, given enough time, a group of chimpanzees will eventually write Shakespeare. <laughs> Join the foreheads and oh see in God. real time how perpetually spitting out Papega takes over the course of an hour can eventually coalesce into a beautiful thesis. Love this show and hope there is much more to come. If we I, had a thesis, if we were to sum up our, you know, our conversations into one pithy thought or one title, what would it even be? I, I think that was stellar. Poo. It's was... <laughs> just a laggy <laughs> <lady> poo. <laughs> poo. <laughs> All I heard was Alex in the background, really like a robot voice, just <laughs> poo. <laughs> that, that was it. I guess that is it then. Oh, that... Alex. I, I can I... tell Alex wants to close the show and talk, but he can't. He's trapped. Behind the cage Wait, of terrible let's, internet. Let's give him. Let's give him an opportunity. I think it's just funny if it's laggy. Can you close the show for us, Alex? Can you hear me? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautifully. Yeah. Okay. Great. If it's not, then Josh, you're an asshole. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and close the show out, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. For its podcast, do the things on uh, Apple and Spotify. Laggy, laggy, laggy. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you on the flippity flip. Peace. That actually kind of worked.